How'd you uh, how'd you come up with your your artist name? Uh, actually, it was a an age in um in music called doo wop, and it was a guy named Jackie Larue, and he was known as the Crybaby. And um, music used to be real crazy back in the day because whoever owned your rights, they really owned you. You know what I mean? So, um, so he never got a chance to, you know, actually get known because he was dealing with gangsters and everything, and he never really got big. But he was one of the best doo wop artists. And I really admired his music. You know, Jackie LaRue is his name. And so I was like, whoa, Lamar LaRue. I was like, before I get that name, let me find out what it means. And it means uh, a dirt path, like roadside, streets. You know what I mean? So that, that really kind of fit my style. Plus, I wanted to do a tribute to Jackie and see how far I can get with this right here, man. Because um, really, it was messed up how they just threw dirt on him like that, man. Just forgot about him. You know, one of the greatest doo-wop artists ever. Would we'll cry at the drop of a hat. <laughs> Check them out. What are some of your biggest influences from artists when you create your music? Wow. Um, work ethic, I would give it to Tupac Shakur. I mean, uh, I've seen documentaries where this dude was around all kind of foolishness and can just whip out a pen and paper and just get it in. You know what I mean? Regardless of what was going on out in the world, he didn't let anything freeze his, uh, how do you say it, uh, creative expression. And, um, and Nas, another one, um, he just um, showed me that being a brother, I can still, uh, you know, I can still open a book and read it. I can still grab a James Baldwin book. I can still just, you know, be intellectual and have a mind to think with and still be a dope MC, you know. Even though I'm in the streets and all that stuff, I can still have sense enough to go to school, read a book, teach my kids how to be better dudes, you know. What motivates you before you get in the studio to, to create the music that you create? Um. Of course, it's an art form. Um, hopefully, it gets heard. First and foremost, it has to, you know, I want to, I want to see the outcome of it. You know what I mean? Just how I, I, I'm fascinated by how it manifests itself from after I write it and after I, you know, pieced it to see how it sounds and everything like that. You know, I just love the art form. Period. As a recording artist, what do you feel like you bring to the music industry? Um. That's, that's, that's nice that you said that. That's, as a matter of fact, I was talking to the old man yesterday. He said, uh, he said, La Rue, man, you're gonna bring a lot of uh, inspiration to the game. Um, not only because you can rap tight, it's because what you've been through and then people can see that stuff. You know what I mean? So what you're gonna do is you're gonna be inspiring some folks and you're gonna be putting some, stank, some things on some people's minds. Some things might hurt people here, but tough love, you know, if you, if you don't, no pain, no gain. Oh yeah, we're gonna try to stick this track on the first one, man. Be like a one, what they call it, one take Jake? Be a one take Jake, man. Yeah, I can imagine how the engineer feel when somebody keep messing up. Uh, he be like, oh, here we go. Nah, that's to each his own, though. You know how that go. My man preparing the track right quick, man. Dude know what he doing. They mix it down right here, man. You know what I mean? All or nothing. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. 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 If was a fifth, then we both be drunk If I was running right here cheating and you found out, then what? Would you pack up all your stuff, leave out, never come back? Or just wait until I leave and cut up my jeans and my hat? We think creeping ain't no no-no till she bleaching all your polo Too much drinking and they go go right for right next to that boho Hangover and booming headache, things you do, you do Regret them, spot up, shooter, JJ Reddick Screw that chick when you just met her 1800 made you mellow, separated from your fellows Did she choose to be selfless and be you out? You out. 
phone 